Yeah. So let us see what was the question given here. See what we have. We have that uh, we have a function f of x is nothing but one minus cos four x by x square if x is less than zero and a if x is equal to zero and root x by root of sixteen plus root x minus four x is greater than zero. They said that it is continuous. When can I say a function is continuous? If your left hand limit will exist and right hand limit will exist and it must be equal to that value. Let us assume f of a. If all the three condition three limits values will exist and if if they are equal, we can say that a function is continuous. Is it okay? So they are telling at x is equal to zero, they are continuous. Then we need to find the value of a. Is it okay? So as we consider, let us take left hand limit. What is left hand limit? Limit x tends to zero, which means that we are approaching from the left hand side, which is x minus x is less than zero f of x agree so what happened to this limit x tends to zero less than zero means my function will be one minus cos four x by x square is it okay so let us see how to solve so if you check carefully we have a formula one minus cos two theta what is one minus cos two theta two into sine square theta but in place of a two you are having two again two uh four x so which is one minus two of two theta which is nothing but what four theta so 2 into sin square 2 theta i'll be applying the same formula here is it okay so which is limit x tends to 0 this will be 2 into sin square in place of an x i'll replace with theta here that same everything is same is it okay so which is nothing but 2x by x square is it okay yes so if you check this problem uh, if you remember some we have uh, some standard limits let me write it down so we know that limit x tends to 0 Sin x by x is always one. Is it okay? And uh, if you know sine square theta is same as sine theta the whole square. Is it okay? So I'll be doing the same thing here. So as if I see, I can take two constant which is outside. I'll take it out. So which will be limit x tends to zero. I can write it as sine two x the whole square. Agree? So if you check the problem here, whatever the coefficients or whatever the theta if you have, same thing should be there in the denominator. Is it okay? So but here I am having two x, but here I just want two x. So what I will do? I'll uh, simply write x square. I'll simply multiply by four and divide by four. Are you getting my point here? So I'll tell you why. So why? Because from this, what I can say, this is two times limit x tends to zero. This is four. I'll write aside. This is sine two x the whole square. This one I can write it as a four x square, which is two x the whole square. Agree. So in which constant I'll simply take it out, which is eight times limit x tends to zero. I can say this is sine two x by two x the whole square. Is it okay? Why? Because I just want sine x by x formula. So according to that limit value, this will be one. So I'll be getting eight. Is it okay? Any doubts up to here? Yes. So what we can say, we can conclude from here. We got what left hand limit is nothing but uh, what is I can say f of zero. So if you check the problem, what is f of zero? Means at x is equal to zero, my function is a alone. Is it okay? So I'll take what a. So left hand limit is a, which is equal to a. So we can easily conclude a is equal to a. Agree. So first suppose if there is a chance like uh, instead of zero, if I have a option like none of the above. Is it okay? So none of the moments we are not able to find from this. Agree. So for get rid of that uh, doubt, we will do right hand limit also. So let uh, let us consider your right hand limit. What is right hand limit? They have given limit x is you are approaching from zero plus, which is x is greater than zero. Check the function. What happened to x greater than zero? Root x by root of sixteen plus root x minus four. Is it okay? Same function I will be taking here. So this will be simply root x by square root of 16 plus root x and this will be minus 4. Is it clear? So if you want to solve this for further, what we will do? Let us assume x tends to 0. What it will be? This is simply 0 by 0 format. You will be getting check here 0 by root 16 minus 4, which is 0 by 4 minus 4, which is 0 by 0 format. Is it okay? So what I will do? I will try to apply the factorize uh, sorry rationalization. So let me do that. Limit x tends to zero. This root x by I'll simply rationalize the denominator. So what it will be? This is simply sixteen plus root x minus four. I'll multiply with the square root of sixteen plus root x plus four by denominator also root of sixteen plus root x plus four. Is it okay? So what I can do? I can't change anything from the numerator. I'll write as it is. This is root x times 
root of 16 plus root x plus 4. Denominator, if you check carefully, this is simply in the form of a minus b and a plus b. So, we can apply a plus b into a minus b. What is the formula? a square minus b square. I will be applying the same thing here in the denominator. So, from this I can say a is what? Root of 16 plus root x. And what is b? b is 4. I will be applying the same thing here. a square, no? so root of 16 plus root x the whole square minus b square is 4 square. Are you getting my point? If you did not understand, let me know. So, from this I can say limit x tends to 0. Numerator will be root x into root of 16 plus root x plus 4 and denominator I can actually cancel square and the root here. So what I will be getting here simply 16 minus root uh, sorry plus root x plus uh, minus for four 16 I will be getting. Is it okay? So what I can do here I can actually cancel 16 16. So I will rewrite this thing as limit x tends to 0 which is root x times root of 16 plus root x plus 4 by root x from which you can cancel both the root x root x from the numerator and denominator so limit x tends to 0 i will be getting root of 16 plus root x plus 4 so what i will do we have a limit wherever x is there i will replace with the limit value which is root 16 plus 0 plus 4 we know that uh, what it will be this is 4 plus 4 which is 8 so what i will be getting i will be getting both left hand limit i got it as a 8 and right hand limit i got it as a 8 and what I can say f of 0. What they have mentioned in the question. Come to this question here. So they said that it is a. So I will simply take the a here. Is it okay? So we know that when can I say function is continuous. If left hand limit equals to right hand limit. Which is equals to f of 0. I can say it is continuous. I will be applying the same condition here. So from this I can say that a must be equals to a. Our problem is done. So option number a is the final answer. Is it okay? If you have any doubts let me know. Thank you.